Hi everybody, welcome back. Glad you could tune in again. In today's devotion and tomorrow's devotion, I want to talk about a couple of aspects of what it means to grow up as a Christian, which I think will be particularly relevant, at least in the first instance, to younger people among us, but which I hope also will be relevant for adults as well. After all, uh, adults is what young people we pray are growing up into, and it's good for all of us who are somewhat older to be reminded of what we ought to be, as well as for young people to be reminded of what they ought to be striving to be. One of the differences we notice if we're parents uh, between uh, young children and adults is that they behave very differently when there are adults around than they do when there are no adults around. This is most uh, often the case in a school environment, but it's actually uh, very common anywhere where uh, uh, adults are around who the children will respect and uh, be obedient to and submit to and so on in appropriate ways. Uh, if you then take the adults away, what you notice uh, very often are some uh, marked changes in the children's behaviour. Now, uh, a great deal of that is good and fine. It's natural exuberance and fun and whatever it is, uh, the kind of thing which is great in its place, but which of course isn't appropriate, like for example in a school classroom or something where you actually are supposed to be doing something else. Uh, but it's interesting also to reflect on uh, whether there is uh, something about this that could potentially go wrong, an aspect of immaturity that it's good for young people to grow out of. What I have in mind is the uh, tendency for young people in particular to behave in one way when they're conscious of adults watching and in a really quite different way when they're thinking that there are no adults watching. Uh, it's striking to me that uh, a version of this tendency is highlighted in scripture, actually not in relation to young people particularly, but in relation to slaves and their relationship with masters. You find it, for example, in Colossians chapter 4, but you can see the principle is similar. Uh, when there is somebody who is, so to speak, under authority, there's a temptation for them to behave in a certain way when those in authority over them are around, but in a different way when there's nobody watching. Let me quote from uh, Colossians chapter 3 where Paul uh, speaks to slaves saying, obey in everything those who are your earthly masters. And then he uses a fascinating phrase, not by way of eye service as people pleasers, but with sincerity of heart fearing the Lord. You can easily see what's meant by that little idiomatic phrase here translated quite literally into English, not by way of eye service. The point is, for us to think carefully about who it is that we should be serving. And if, if we're thinking that in the end, the people we're serving are other people, our parents, or for adults perhaps, your boss at work or somebody else like that, then clearly that's gonna mean that when nobody's watching, we're gonna be tempted to behave in another way. Well, Paul highlights here the obvious point, doesn't he? We're actually not working for men in the end. We're working for the Lord. So whether I'm speaking to you now and you're an adult and you're in the workplace and uh, your boss is or isn't looking over your shoulder or whether you're a young person and the issues arise more in a home context with your parents being there or not being there or perhaps in some other environment where you've got responsible adults who are there and you behave in one way and they're not there and you behave in another way. Here is something for you to think about. There is always an adult present watching always an adult present. The Lord Jesus Christ is the one that we all ought to be seeking to please and his eye is always upon us. You are never in that sense without witness. You're never on your own. Of course, that's a comfort in other, in other contexts. But in this context, it ought to be a salutary thought. We are never unobserved by one whom we ought to be accountable to. And that's the kind of spirit with which we ought to grow towards maturity as adults. Speaking again to you young people, conscious that it's not just that you're trying to please your mum or keep your teacher happy. You're trying to please the Lord and behave in a way which he who can see you would be delighted in.
God bless you and bye for now.